I have been keeping an eye on the latest trends and I noticed that Infinite Scroll is making a comeback especially with some recent awards as OTD winners when I saw this scroll animation on this website I was blown away I made a video on Infinite Scroll a few years back but looking back it wasn't the best and didn't explain how to achieve this effect at all lately I have had quite a few people asking me about creating this animation so I decided to revisit this topic and create an updated more comprehensive video now there are various ways to implement this scroll effect but today I'll show you how to do it using JavaScript and GSAP we'll make sure the scroll experience works seamlessly with both mouse wheel and drag interactions if you find this video helpful please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you'd like to access the source code check out the link in the description all right let's dive into the code we'll use this idea to create a menu like concept inside the menu let's add a div where we will add a background image next we'll add a wrapper to add the menu items now let's define the menu item it will be split into two parts the category name and the actual name I have duplicated these items a few times and included paragraph elements with placeholder text. That's all there is for the HTML section. Now let's get to styling. First, we'll remove all default margins and paddings, set box sizing to border box for consistent element sizing and disable the text selection. Next, we'll style the HTML and body to cover the full viewport, set a background color white text color and hide any overflow to keep our layout clean for the images we'll ensure they fill the container and maintain the aspect ratio for a perfect fit the menu image will position the background image to cover the entire viewport adding a radial gradient overlay to create a fading effect from transparent to black this adds depth and makes the menu item stand out The menu will be set to cover the full width and height, hide any overflow and use a grab cursor to indicate draggable content. When dragging, the cursor will change to grabbing for better user experience. We'll remove the default list styling from the wrapper to keep it clean. The menu item will position the items absolutely and use flexbox for layout with padding and gaps to space the items nicely. For the category and name sections, we'll use flexbox again to align them within the menu items, giving more space to the names. Finally, we'll style the text elements with appropriate fonts, sizes, and text transformations to match the design. With this CSS, our menu layout and styling are ready. Now let's move on to the JavaScript to create this infinite scroll effect. First, we'll select the necessary elements from the DOM. We need to target the menu, menu wrapper, and all the menu item elements. This allows us to manipulate these elements to create the scrolling effect. Next, we'll set up some initial variables. We'll drag the mouse position and the current scroll position. These variables will help us calculate the scroll movement based on the mouse interaction. Current scroll position keeps track of the current scroll position of menu. It allows us to know how much the menu has scrolled at any given time. Last scroll Y stores the last known Y position of the mouse. It helps us calculate the difference between the current mouse position and the last mouse position. Smooth scroll Y will be used to create a smooth scrolling effect. Instead of jumping directly to the new scroll position, we can interpolate between the current position and the target position to make the scrolling appear more fluid and natural. Now let's add a function to help create the smooth scrolling effect. We'll use a love function which stands for linear interpolation. This function smoothly transitions between two values based on a given factor. Here is how the love function works. 
start would be the initial value, end would be the target value, factor is going to be a number between 0 and 1 that determines the weight of the interpolation. A factor closer to 0 makes the transition slower, while a factor closer to 1 makes it faster. This function calculates the intermediate value between start and end, resulting in a smooth transition. Next, let's add a function to adjust the position of our menu items based on the scroll value. We'll use GSAP for smooth animations and ensure the menu items loop seamlessly, creating the infinite scroll effect. Here is how this function would work. First, we set the positions with GSAP. For that, we use the set function to position each menu item based on its index and the current scroll value. The modifiers property in GSAP allows us to modify the Y position of each item. This ensures the items wrap around correctly, maintaining the infinite scroll illusion. Then we use the wrap utility function to loop the menu items seamlessly. It takes the total menu height and wraps the Y position within this range, creating an endless scrolling effect. This function ensures our menu items are positioned correctly and continuously loop as the user scrolls. It's a key part of creating this experience. To handle the scroll interaction, we'll add a function to update the scroll position based on the mouse wheel movement. This function adjusts the current scroll position whenever the user scrolls with the mouse wheel. Now let's implement the dragging functionality to allow users to scroll by dragging the menu. We need three functions, on drag start, on drag move and on drag end. Here is what each function does. The on drag start function captures the initial Y position when the user starts dragging and sets is dragging flag to true and adds a class to indicate the dragging state. The drag move function updates the current Y position as the user drags and adjusts the scroll position based on the movement and updates start Y variable. The drag end function sets the flag to false and removes the dragging class. These functions enable the user to drag the menu, updating the scroll position smoothly. Now let's implement the animation loop that will create the smooth scrolling effect. This loop will continuously update the scroll position and adjust the menu items accordingly. This is what the animate function does. The request animation frame function continuously calls the animation function to create a smooth animation loop. Then we use the lerp function to interpolate between the current scroll position and the target scroll position, creating a smooth transition between those values. Then we call the adjust menu items position function with the smooth scroll position to update the menu items positions. Next, using the calculate scroll speed, we determine the speed of the scroll based on the difference between the current and the last scroll positions. Next, we use GSAP to animate the scale and rotation of the menu items based on the scroll speed, adding a dynamic effect. Now let's add event listeners to handle user interactions and window resizing. These listeners will ensure our infinite scroll works seamlessly across different input methods and screen sizes. The mouse wheel captures scroll events from the mouse wheel to update the scroll position. The touch events handle touch interactions for dragging on touch devices. Mouse events handle mouse interactions for dragging on desktop devices. As the name suggests, prevent text selection prevents the text selection during dragging to enhance the user experience. We also adjust the menu and item dimensions when the window is resized to ensure the layout stays consistent. These event listeners ensure our infinite scroll works smoothly across various devices and input methods. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.